Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully go about resolving if you're coming across the default gateway is not available error on your Windows 10 computer. So this could definitely be a frustrating issue and in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve without too much of a hassle. So we're going to start by opening up the start menu, type in control panel, best match should go back with control panel right above app. So go ahead and just left click on that. So your view by to large icons, and then select power options. Select whatever plan is currently the default one or being used here, and then select change plan settings. Select change advanced power settings. And now go underneath the wireless adapter settings option, so just double click on it or select a little plus sign, and now there should be an option under here. So go ahead and expand that power saving mode. And for setting, click inside of whatever is listed here and select maximum performance and then go ahead and select apply and okay once you're done with that close out of here another thing I would suggest trying would be to open up the start menu type in network reset best match should go back with network reset right above system settings so go ahead and left click on that so network reset this will remove and reinstall all of your network adapters and set other networking components back to their original settings you might need to reinstall other networking software afterwards such as VPN client software or virtual switches your PC will be restarted so make sure you save and close out of any open programs or applications before you start and then left click on reset now it's going to prompt you one more time to sure you want to reset your network settings make sure you have your network password handy as well before you proceed because it will prompt you to enter back in your login credentials for your Wi-Fi so go ahead and select yes and it's going to sign you out within five minutes so I'm just going to click on close close out of here you can just restart manually as well you don't have to wait for the timer to click down to zero so pretty straightforward process here guys I do hope I was able to help you out and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial goodbye